the only problem is we are called to love those who are non-believers those who mock us and the problem is when we love them they mock the one who has told us to love them and when we point out their mockery they come back and say christians are preaching hate they don't like this other community they feel that they are good enough they're better than the rest of people which is not the case brother sister if i respect who you are for who you are kindly respect the god i serve for being the god i serve that is enough that is enough love if jesus tells us to love those who hate us and those who mock us then there's the only problem that christian have and that's why you can you can mock christianity as long as you can you can mock jesus as much as you can but nothing will happen to you because you're not to avenge hello guys this is your guy djc244 and today i'm in in the studio today to discuss a topic that has been so controversial and you have seen a lot of things happening around us this one being that uh, the christianity has been on the spot for the last one month even this week it has been the center of focus there has been a lot of things coming up news controversies the documentaries and even exposition that are coming off each and every single week each and every single day and the topic has been all about christianity the stand of christians today the the, the the exposition about the false prophet and the false teachers that are coming up each and every single day and this has been putting pressure much on christianity and remember as i told you about our last episode on the prophet ex uh, fulfillment of the prophecy i told you that it's time for us christian to rise up go to the mountain like jesus told us when you shall see these standing at the altars rise to the mountain flee to judea those who are in judea flee to the mountain those who are in the rooftop don't come down to pick your stuff and those who are in the field not go back home these are a call for us to rise as christian and, and declare what god wants us to do that is prayer and continue doing the work of ministry i know some of us may feel discouraged as they are carrying on with the work of ministry in the battlefield in the field because uh, how will you pray to someone when the people who are great in that seat are doing the miseries i know it will be hard for some people because you'll go as an evangelist assuming an evangelist preaching the gospel to the unreached and then a news pops up about tb joshua a news pops up about td jakes a news pops up about a christian doing whatever i remember it will be hard for you to convince someone that christianity the being a believer in christ jesus being a faith-filled person in christ jesus is a guarantee way to eternity because controversies are there and this is something we have to we have to live by these are some things we have to adjust by because uh, they will be there they were there and they still be there even before we preach about christ when christ himself was on earth he was still opposed so be ready when you're being opposed because uh, christ jesus himself told us that it will come a time when this opposition will be too much that even to those who kill you will feel like they're doing god a service because they want to elevate one thing that the truth that is being spoken and to those who have been questioning about the true faith and the true fellowship of which religion is the true religion always know one thing because it is clear and evident in your eyes that truth is always fought in whatever capacity be it not in christianity or secular world or normal life experience whoever speaks the truth suffers the most and that is a criteria that should tell you that christianity is one of the qualified and guaranteed religion of faith we don't call it religion but a walk of faith that will guarantee you eternity when something is being questioned when something is being fought when something is being opposed when someone is being mocked just know he, he carries the truth just know that faith carries the truth aspect in itself so this week this month we have seen a lot of things being coming up uh we have seen a lot of guys musicians celebrity coming up with their own ways uh their music dropping an example like lil nas x dropping new album new song and the mockery was clearly evident in our face but the good thing about this person he went ahead and said that oh man this was not about me mocking god why if you're telling us this is not about mocking god and you're using the biblical alliterations biblical imagery to 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 do your video you don't need these things why won't you just go on and and do your video in a manner that is well informed why come before and defend yourself and say uh 
my intention was not to mock christianity my intention no one does something they do not know everyone does something they have purpose and they have focus to do and this is what he did so you can't come around beating around the bush treating us like children and telling us that uh uh i was not my intention to do so so blah blah and blah and and we are not even in a seat of judging you or even pointing finger back at you but we are telling you the fact is that you have to distinguish what you are dealing with because sometimes things might seem happier it's not about the happy experience that makes you human it's also the thing that you do that define your relationship with other people you knew one thing that if i do this music about j christ i'm going to be on the trending top list for the week because the bigger number of christian community around the world are going to look at my video are going to comment about me i'm going to be the search of the of the of the month yes you will achieve all these things but the end result is are you building a community if you're speaking about the message of love that we should love one another we should help one another become better are you yourself speaking and preaching the same thing or you're just doing your own things so let me go about uh, uh, this um article that was written by the people uh, website uh, in in google and uh, i was reading it and i found it quite interesting this is written by jack ivan jack ivan wrote about a uh, lil x nas x leaning back in a biblical imagery for this new era on monday the grammy win unveiled the cover art for his upcoming single j christ featuring himself resembling Jesus on a cross. Shortly before clarifying, he's not lo looking to offend any religious group in the photo. First of all, look at that. He's using an imagery of Christ Jesus. We know only the one God, one man who was ever crucified, first to be on that cross, and he was a, a king. And it was him alone who made cross as a symbol of salvation. The rest was a symbol of execution. So when you are using this cross, actually you are making a direct interrelation into that man who died on the cross. And remember the title of the album is, uh, new single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time. Who had the greatest co comeback of all time from the cross? This is Christ Jesus. Man, you, you can't fool us around and tell us that you are not attacking any specific religious group by your video and yet you are really openly and clearly stating out what really is happening in your video so he went ahead and wrote in x which is formerly known as twitter and this is what he wrote remember this guy was one of the guy who did the performance on the old town road the quote that was previously loved by children a quoted previous claim that his upcoming single feature very beloved pop star and said it was god after reposting some fun tweet express excitement for his new music, Linus X took the social media platform once again, less than an hour after sharing the J. Christ single cover to clarify his motive. This is what he said. The crazy thing is nowhere in the picture is a mockery of Jesus. He wrote, Jesus' image is used throughout history in people's art all over the world. This is the direct art message. The crazy thing is nowhere in the picture is mockery of Jesus Christ. Just images used throughout history and people art all over the world. I'm not making fun of shit. You just go stop trying to get keep a religion that was here before any of us were even born. Linus X continue. Okay. This is what he spoke. After defending himself, the industry baby musician reposted more messages from fun on his side, including one of the question why Lil Nas X faced more backlash than other artists such as the baby kanye west who've also created comparing themselves to jesus christ this isn't linus x con first controversy regard his use of religion religious mockery in march 2021 he faced backlash after both portraying himself as the devil and giving the devil a lap dance in the music video for his single montero call me by my name sorry call me by your name that was the mu that music sparked a controversy because it was so much it was so much it was not about being a christian or what it depicted so much of demons more devil than a person in the real reality even if you're calling it creativity and 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 way of expressing yourself it is go it goes beyond the board it goes beyond the board so 
let me continue around the same time the star released blood fused certain shoes which we saw what happened uh modified nike sneakers in partnership with mist i don't know that spelling m s c h f nike then sued lil nas x though the suit was settled in april 2021 in 2022 lil nas x opened up about how the controversy caused a strain in his working relationship with bet in an interview with rolling stone my relationship with BET has been painful and strained for quite some time. It didn't start with this year's nomination like most people might think. He told the, the outlet in a statement at the time, they did let me perform of their show last year, but after all, I gave assurance that I was not a satanist or a devil worshipper and that my performance would be appropriate for their audience. Direct and clean. Regardless of what you're saying, what you're depicting to us in clear picture says more about it, more than what you're trying to say. You cannot, you cannot change truth and pretend that it does not happen. Truth is truth whether you, you put it uh, uh, in the darkness or in, in, a, in a white snowed land which is brighter. Truth will still remain truth. And it's not only him who is in the controversial state of these people who are mocking Christianity. But then you come to ask yourself, why would they people mock Christianity? And you realize that it's because we are ordered and, and, and formed to love. These people will go around and claim that the only true message about life is love and love from God. God loves everybody. Remember one thing, we have different gods. We have different gods. But we only have one true God. And it's him whom we are focusing on in this moment. It's him whom we are looking to. It's him whom we know all through. Because he has been from ages to ages. So if you're telling us about God, which God specifically are you speaking about? Because we have so we have various gods, but we only have one God, Jesus Christ. We only have one God. So if you're directing your prayer to one or so, it means your God is different. Some people worship themselves as God. But does that not nullify that they, whenever they say, I thank God for so and so, mean that they are thanking the God of heaven and the earth. Because the only filter that will determine if you're thanking the Lord of heaven and the earth is when Jesus comes into play. When Jesus comes into play, then you are thanking the Lord God of heaven and the earth. So we have seen quite a lot of celebrity masquerading their mockery it's not the first one when you look at the list it goes on from the greatest like uh, kendrick lamar madonna sam smith they are dropping blasphemy and to them it feels acceptable but if this message was given to us by our forefathers who came before us where do you think we will be as the new generation that is rising up why should we leave the world in a worst place, a worst state, more than we found it? Why should you push a controversy? Why should you put an, a push an agenda that is against the will of God, not even the will of God itself, but against humanity? This one is, is, is one of the worst things that we can really claim and say we need to love each other and live together as one. What are we leaving behind for these people who are coming? What are we leaving behind for our children? What is then that we are teaching them that cross-dressing and living a life that is, that, is, that is not worth that is not worth emulating leads to to sanctity and that's what we will call love that is not the case with with many things around us we know that the, the judgment of god has not been direct to all mankind because he has been patient with us he has been patient with us that he want us to to repent he want us to to repent and let go what is happening around us but we are taking it for granted the grace of god has been misused and 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 this is this is this is worse being offensive and being mockery like has been the language of the system we know we understand this is what the the enemy want us to do this is what the enemy want us to uh, to, to preach because you know one thing the devil is the angel of light he camouflages he comes and is the prince of air which means anything that passes through the media that supports the air transmission he is always ready to push it and this agenda is not a gender of god you will tell us i thank god maybe god is your satan because satan is also god of this earth so if Satan is the God of this earth, you are pushing his agenda. You are his faithful servant. And 
To this far, the Christianity faith isn't meant to be dominate others. We believe so. We function best when we can, like the model Jesus Christ presents to us that he takes on the chin. Of course, we should have the right to set our own alternative worldwide view to make our case in public. If the culture on us seems particularly dark at the moment, then let's pray that the light may shine brighter. This is what a call of Christianity is, but we will pray. The cross is offensive. We can we can own that and it, it should surprise us that the central aspect of our faith causes big emotion of every kind that people want to abuse the cross in album cover, tattoo and even in, in their graffitis because they want to appear like they're supporting it. It, it it doesn't matter i can give you something that is worthwhile but the, the how you're going to present the stuff will show whether you respect the stuff or you're just using it for your own gain if i give you the cross as a symbol of salvation and, and redemption of mankind i'm not giving you i'm not giving you the cross to start using it in in unclean movies to use it in in things that are causing death to use it in your horror movies turning the cross upside down no let everything have a meaning for what they are meant for and if this is the case if you're coming to tell us about preaching love and preaching hate be the first to show us that you are also showing love because christianity all around the world we have not been known for all this what you call hate love whatever what christianity has been pushing as an agenda is that all men should come to knowledge of christ and i know everyone knows the knowledge of christ but where god is not you have seen what happens the community ends up in moral decadence and this is what is happening tonight this is what is happening around the globe with our community right now because we have rejected the love of god we have rejected the true christ we have rejected our own savior and have pursued our own vile ways in thinking that through what we do is what will give us salvation if you tell somebody about the love of christ and the salvation that comes through christ jesus they'll tell you i'll only be saved by the good works a man is good when he does good deeds and he loves his neighbor. And do you even love your neighbor who are the Christian, whom you are subjecting to mockery by their king and their leader, Christ Jesus? Why should everything that want to trend come in the mockery and in the blasphemy of who God is, the Godhead? That's the biggest question that I know they will not answer. They'll say it's about creativity, it's about art. We have never seen um uh, even though most people are the, the the pastors that are coming up today are people who are pushing up their agenda a good example like uh the pastor who's now inviting dj and teaching people how to to walk out walking out how do you bring a secular music and a dj into a church service and the bad thing is people are so much blinded just like the bible say that the the people of this age are mentally and carnally blinded that they cannot see they cannot distinguish good and evil on the same page and today you find that things that are called bad are end up being the thing that are named good and things that are named good are the things that are known to be bad and this is the dynamics of the day to day but the call for the people who are outside the faith is that let's respect what is respectable and call what is holy as holy and call what is honorable as honorable and not trying to bypass the truth so that we can accommodate and increase our viewership and membership in the media industry just because we want to be the voice of the people the most such the most rated the world and the vanity will always cheat us to make the wrong and the worst mistakes that we will ever regret in our life it is not about going to hell it is about what is the eternity of what you're producing what is the impact of your production to the community i know it has lost its its its, its value today today if you tell me you're providing something that is worthwhile something that people will watch we wonder because the agenda that is being pushed is sexual immorality all over the media movie will never end an episode without romance and sex and these are things that are happening in front of our eyes. These are the things that we are giving up to our kids to watch. What happens next when they are grown up? We'll continue killing each other. We'll continue bringing rape and fighting it. We are, we are promoting it and at the same time fighting it. That's a pretense of the highest order. And this is, this, this is what is happening around us. We are standing, we, we, we put campaigns and say uh, the community is standing against rape. Where are the reps? Where are the people who should be standing and promoting this 
anti-rape things are the people who are promoting it on the media. Tonight you do not need to log into pornographic site to watch a pornography. It's live in your movies. It's live in the television. You are asking that we should love one another and, and take care of each other. What are you taking care of when you're destroying the next generation that is coming? Then I believe that generation that is left right now is only left for judgment and punishment because we have passed the mark. And even though God promised himself that he will not destroy the earth again by water or flood, I promise you, this time it will be more painful because we know the truth. Initially, they did not know the truth. Jesus was not in the play. The Holy Spirit was not in the ploy. It was God and man. But tonight, and this year, and these seasons, Jesus has come, the Holy Spirit has come, He has convicted us in our own evil way, He has taught us all things. It has for us to now analyze, understand, know, and turn away from our wicked way and seek truth. So for them who are preaching love, be the first who radiates love, and not the same who fights what is true and meaningful in the life of fellow men. I've been your host, DJC 254. Thank you for staying tuned to this far, and God bless you for being a great ambassador of Christ Jesus. And also for being a faithful servant who is worthy of the calling of the cross. May the name of the Lord be honored as we continue to watch the fellow episode. Have a good and lovely moment ahead. Regardless of the time zone you are in, have a good, awesome and loving day. See you then.